Oh. Hey, welcome back. Today I am going to show you some super cheap stuff that I got from H&M Home recently. I just got the boxes in, haven't opened them. I didn't really, I mean, I knew H&M had a home section, but I didn't know it was this extensive. Um, I got an ad on, I think my Instagram that was just saying, you know, H&M home, like winter sale. So I clicked on it and when I got to the website, I was like, I just immediately fell in love with everything and I got these two huge boxes for, I mean, there's a ton of stuff in here and it was like a hundred bucks, I think. So I'm going to show you some stuff that I got since I have been lacking on the home content recently. And uh, yeah, we're just going to open this up together. I, like I said, have not, um, haven't opened this up. So I'm really excited. There's there's a huge, supposed to be a huge rug in here, so I'm kind of anxious about that. But uh, let's just go ahead and see. Ah, okay. So first thing I see in here is um, a bath mat rug. I got two new bath mat rugs. I got one for our tub and one for our shower. So obviously one was bigger than the other. And if I can go back and look at the prices, I'll put how much everything costs somewhere on the screen. Okay, so this is the uh, larger bath mat rug that I got. I think it was around $13. I love it. I am really just going for a lot of minimal black accents in the house right now. So I actually got a rug for our bedroom, which I'm thinking is in this bottom box that will probably look really similar to this. And I thought for our master bath, those two striped black patterns would uh, just be really cohesive. So uh, yeah, super cute bath mat rug. I think these next few things are plates. So um, I've been doing a lot of food blogging lately and I just really needed to expand on my not only silverware but plates. And these plates were like a dollar thirty, two bucks a piece and they just looked really rustic and kind of just like my style in general so i took the plunge and just ordered uh pretty much a whole set you had to buy everything individually so i got about six to eight plates i think um and these look like the chargers maybe okay no these are the salad plates and i love them these were like a dollar 30 a piece i already have some hearth and hand large plates that will match these perfectly so yeah, uh, for $1.35, I mean, I can't complain. I think these will photograph nice. And I just love the minimalist look and just how, I don't know, they just have that, they're not a glossy finish. It's kind of more like a matte porcelain finish. Okay, so I got six of those and I am realizing really quick that I think I made a mistake on one of the purchases. Um, hmm. So on the website, I thought that these were actual bowls, as in like cereal bowls. And it turns out that they are more of like seasoning bowls or sauce bowls. So I'm um, kind of disappointed in that. I mean, I'm sure that these will be cute for photographs. They have kind of like an oddball edge to them, kind of like a pottery look. But... I'm definitely disappointed. I thought that these were cereal bowls on the freaking website. I mean, they look huge in the picture. Oh well, you live and you learn. Um, I have no clue what this is, honestly. Is this another bowl that, oh, okay. I think this is uh, something for my bathroom, yes. So this is something that I'm gonna keep on my bathroom sink. It is just a little ramekin jar, and it's, I just love the minimalist look to it and the cork top, but it says things small but important, and then it has a nice little bathroom label. I also got some toothbrush holders to match this, so I'm really looking forward to uh, kind of just keeping like mainly my rings in uh, this jar just because I take my rings off at night and when I shower. So yeah, just a cute little ramekin jar. I think it was like a couple bucks. 
All right, so moving into box number two, I have the smaller bath mat. This one is gonna go in front of our tub. So just gonna stick that off to the side here. And as for everything else, I know they're supposed to be, oh yeah, I see the rug down at the bottom. Uh, but honestly, I can't remember what all I ordered. I thought I ordered some more plates and I think that this um, might be what that is. So let's just go ahead and we'll, we'll just see. Oh, okay. I am so excited about these. These are actually a black stainless steel uh, silverware set or spoon set. I got a complete set. Um, I got the spoons, the forks, and the knives. But I have been wanting these for so long from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target, which is uh, the Magnolia or Chip and Joanna Gaines collection, but they, for one set like this, if I were to buy just one set of spoons from their collection, it was like $25 for four. These were like $4.50. So when I saw these on the website, I immediately knew I had to get them. I think I got uh, two sets of the spoons, two sets of the forks, and um, just one set of the butter knives just because we don't really use those that often. <laughs> so these are the forks, just kind of like your traditional standard size forks. I just love these. I cannot wait to photograph with these and just make a whole table setting. I think that uh, these are just kind of like a really cool modern take on silverware um, and just at a super cheap price. I couldn't believe how much these were because I don't know, the hearth and hand ones I always see are just crazy expensive. Okay, so this is a little soap dispenser that I got to match. Like I said, I, I bought toothbrush holders and the little uh, ramekin jar. This is a soap dispenser that I got to match those items. And I just love the look of this just uh, ombre glass almost. It's like a brown and then it fades into just this really light tan color. I love that. I've been trying to add a lot of warmth into our house because if you can see our paint color is a pretty cool toned uh, gray. So I've been trying to add warmer accents and I just thought that this kind of uh, very warm apothecary style uh, soap dispenser and toothbrush holder would kind of tie everything together. So yeah, again, this was probably like three or four bucks. So next up we have the toothbrush holders that I've been talking about and they say smile. And then again, they have that same style label that the soap dispenser and the jar have. I just, I don't know. I just love the look of this. I think it looks very classic and yet um, old school. So yeah, the reason I just got this whole set is because our bathroom vanity, I love it. It's got that white marbly look to it, but I haven't really bought anything to tie it all together. It kind of just looks like a plain boring vanity. And I thought that this would just add a little bit of style to it. So these next few things, I'm just going to show you guys all together because it would kind of be just boring and monotonous for me to talk about each one. But I got a bunch of these small vases for faux floral stems. Uh, I got one that I'm gonna put again with the bathroom stuff. It's that same uh, color. And then the other two that I got are more of the porcelain or kind of like pottery look. I just thought that these would be just good little accents once we start getting more side tables in the house. And then I got a couple of the clear bulb options as well. Um, I just got these because they were really cheap and I've actually been looking for some of these. I, I don't know if you guys have a hard time finding little things like this, but I've had a hard time finding these. And when I just saw them on H&M Home and that they were super cheap, I just decided to pick up quite a few. And I think I will go to Hoblob today and pick up some stems to decorate these with. Last but not least, we have the rug that I am planning on putting down at the foot of my bed. I just got a brand new duvet set and it has just really minimal black stitching to it. 
So like I said, I'm just trying to incorporate very neutral tones and just a lot of black accents. Um, the only difference to me in the bath mat rug and this rug that's going to go in our room is this one's a little bit darker. It kind of, um, it's not really white. It's more of a beigey or light tone gray. So I'll show you a shot of what that looks like once I get it um, put down. But yeah, this was, um, I think, $38 and I think it's a four by six foot rug. So I don't know what it looks like yet. Hopefully it looks good. Uh, we'll see. All right, so that's everything I picked up from the H&M home section. Overall, I am pleased with everything except those stupid bowls. Honestly, I know I'll put them to good use, but I got six of them because I thought that they were going to be actual bowls, you know, that I could use in a table setting, um, but they're not. So that's the only thing I'm disappointed in. And I think it's like $6 to ship back and those were maybe a dollar a piece. So it's not even worth it. Um, but yeah, everything was just kind of like small things here and there, accent pieces. But again, I've just been really slacking on the home lately. And so I finally have a direction I feel like I want to go in. And when I see something, I've been just trying to go for it if I can for the month. And this is kind of just what I what I discovered from the home section. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, if you want to keep seeing home videos, please let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.